Hello everyone, my name is Colin Warren. I'm with Elite Construction Equipment. Today we're going to talk about how to use the machine to pick up a load. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of driving into the target. With a warehouse forklift like one of these, you have no choice but to drive into your target. But on a telehandler like one of these JLG 1055s, you're actually supposed to use the boom to reach out, pick up your target, and bring it back to you. So today we're gonna to actually be picking up a truss boom and then I'm gonna show you how to dismount this carriage and hook up the carriage of this truss boom. Okay, so when we're gonna pick up something, you always wanna square up with your load. In this case, our load happens to be heavier on one end, so we're gonna try and align the front le the left fork to be as center as possible. Stop short, set your brake, and we're going to boom out. Once you've got the forks all the way in, we're going to cradle the load by tilting back. And we'll start to pick up. We'll go ahead and cradle some more. This makes sure that the load's not gonna slide off the front of the forks, and then we will retract. Now the load's securely cradled all the way to the back to the rest. We want Worried about losing it off the front of the forks. And now we can drive and reposition the load to where we can pick it up. When you're depositing a load, you want to do the same thing you did as picking it up, but in reverse. So in this case, we're going to boom out and then use the stick of the machine to pull away from the load. Now we're free from the load, and we can move out of the way. Now we're going to get rid of the carriage, park the machine, boom out a little bit. Make sure your tips are on the ground. So now we're gonna remove the carriage. In this case, we have a swing carriage. So we have a pin and we have hydraulic couplers that we need to disconnect before we can safely remove this. First thing is, we'll go ahead and we'll remove the pin. So we'll lift up on this release and then out comes the pin. This is the main pin that holds on the carriage to this machine. It cups onto this top pin and this is the locking pin. Now that we have that, in here we have our hydraulic quick couplers. Just pop that up, out comes that one, and there it goes. Now that we have our carriage um, hydraulic couplers disconnected and the locking pin removed, we can now safely pull away the, the boom from the carriage. So we're going to boom down. You'll see the main pin come away from the, uh, well, we'll go ahead and Curl that cylinder back. You can see that the locking mechanism is out. We can boom down out of the cradle and retract. And we are now clear of the carriage. All right, now we're going to reach out, use the stick to reach out and pick up our truss boom. Once we've got the pin in the cradle, we'll go ahead and we'll bring down our tilt, which is where our locking pin's gonna go. Okay, now once that's in, we're gonna make sure the machine's in park. We're gonna dismount and hook up our attachment pin. 
pull up on the release, slide in your attach pin. Next, we're gonna have to hook up the quick couplers. If you're ever looking for telehandler or MUP training, Elite is the place for you. We have a very nice classroom set up for everyone to enjoy their classroom session, as well as a plethora of machines you can see here in my yard for everyone to use during our hands-on session. Again, thank you for choosing Elite Construction Equipment.